Hey everybody, um, my name is Kirsten, if anybody was wondering, and um, I'm going to get hop on and do my makeup. I'm going to be using the Saint um, Perfector, like it's a their sponge, um, for the first time. So I'm going to be trying that out today. Um, I promise not to take up a whole lot of your time. Um, but the beauty of Saint is that you have everything you need right here in one little palette. These are your basic shades, okay? These are the things that you need to make you glow, okay? So you've got your main foundation shade. That's a main highlight. You've got your brightening highlight, which is your concealer. Um, you've got your contour to um, shade the natural um, shadows of your face, make it sharper, make it more defined. And then you've got lip and cheek. So that's your lipstick, that's your blush, and I'm just gonna show you how this works. So, to start out with, I am just going to use my finger to dot this makeup where it needs to be. This is super fast, super easy. This is my brightening highlight. I start with it first. You kinda wanna put it in the center of your face, so on the middle of your forehead, in this, in your, eye area kind of cover up the darker circles on the outer edge of your eye kind of lift it up just like that on the other side and on your chin right here i like to put a little bit right in here just a dab and then i'll put some on the center of my nose as well but i'm going to contour it first so for now i'm going to move on to my main highlight this is my main foundation shade and you're gonna put that everywhere else that your other makeup doesn't go. Like, um, you don't wanna put it where you're gonna be putting your contour. You don't wanna put it where you're gonna be putting um, your blush shade or your brightening highlight. A little bit on the chin. Now, I suffer from, with acne. Um, I have my entire adolescent years into adulthood, so yay me. Um, but this makeup has helped clear up a lot of that. Alright, so that is my main foundation shade. Now I'm going to move on to my contour. These tins are magnetic, so they pop in and pop out. And that is kind of the beauty of Saint. It's like you don't have to worry about throwing away your entire compact or looking for it, digging in your makeup bag, trying to find this stuff when it's right there. Easy peasy, super organized. Um, and you look beautiful in the end. It enhances everything that you love about your face and hides the things you don't. So I'm putting on the contour right now. I'm using the shade of Ash. It's kind of a cooler tone. And I'm just kind of carving out the lines of my face. Okay. So it's been three minutes and 50 seconds so far. And this is kind of known as a five minute makeup, okay? I usually take about seven minutes because I'm slow. But either way, it beats the 20 to 30 minutes that you were spending before putting on your makeup, okay? All right, now I'm gonna put my lip and cheek on the outer edge of my cheekbone, the upper outer edge toward like my hairline, the back of my face. That's gonna give you more of a sculpted, lifted look. If you put it on the apple of your cheek, then you are pulling the focus downward on your face. Um, if you are really lean and thin in your face and you want to add fullness, you can put some on, your, on the apples of your cheeks. But if not, um, putting it upward pulls the eye upward. So that's really cool. All right, and then you can just dab some on your lips. I'm using the lip and cheek shade Nude, 
which is my favorite so far. All right, now to try out my little beauty blender. So you're just gonna dab it all in. You're patting the makeup in. I have oily skin. So this is one of the products that they recommended that I use for oily skin. And I wanted to see how it worked. little bit of more of my main shade to my nose to kind of blend this color out a little bit and I'm going to take my highlight color and go down the very edge center of my nose just like that using my pinky finger if you can finger paint you can use this makeup so we're just kind of tapping it out So far, I'm honestly liking the brush better. So I think I'm gonna switch off to that. Maybe I'm just too lazy for the sponge. So. So just kind of blending all that out and dabbing at my cheeks a little bit. And there you have it. I'm going to put my eyebrows on with the same contour shade and I'll be done. So see you later.